hearty sausage and bean casserole slow cooked in the crock pot an easy dump it leave it and it's cooked when you get home hi guys how you all doing welcome to backyard chef i'm rick today we're going to make sausage and bean casserole we're going to make it in the slow cooker so this is one of those hearty meals ready for when you come home it is really really easy let's show you how to make this okay then a little bit of oil in the pan and what we want to do is we want to lightly fry our sausages so they're brown on all sides now there's a very good reason for frying our sausages and not only does it put color on there it firms up the sausages making our sausages have that nice meaty solid type texture in our casserole now if we put these sausages in not fried they would be white and soft quite mushy actually not firm at all so that is why we fry our sausages first before adding to our casserole so take the sausages out guys and then what we want to do we want to add our chopped onion to our pan and we want to gently stir fry our um, onion in our pan now we do not want to be burning this or browning it so nice and gently cook it in there and we want to add our thyme and our oregano so we get all our herbs in there just give it a gentle stir around make sure it's all incorporated through the onions and then what we'll do we'll add half a tablespoon of paprika and give that a stir in as well stir it through and it's sort of like cooking out the rawness of the spices with the onions and then we'll add two tablespoons of tomato puree and uh, about half a cup of water just to loosen it all up and cook it all through and that's going to take out that rawness of everything as it cooks through in our pan and then what we need to do then we need to add about a tablespoon of sugar now the sugar is there to compensate for the sourness of the tomato paste and our canned tomatoes when we cook it in the crock pot we need that little bit of sweetness back in there you know and it's not going to be very much then what we need to do transfer everything to the crock pot and then we're going to add our canned baked beans now I'm using baked beans a can of tomatoes and a can of white beans now you can use any beans, cannellonia beans, anything you, you want to put in there. It is a sausage and bean casserole. And you could even put chopped up carrots, any, any veg that you want in there. Now I don't want to put carrots in or anything. I'm just using the baked beans, the white beans and the tomatoes. And then we want to add in our beef broth. Now we'll get our beef broth in there. Give it a little stir through. And just making sure everything's incorporated all the way through there add a couple of bay leaves plunge them in and then we want to be adding our sausages so get our sausages in there and have you noticed we haven't cut these up we haven't done anything get the sausages in the casserole and we'll cut them up later there's a very good reason for cooking like this add a pinch of pepper and salt that's our seasoning and then we're going to cook this on high heat for about five hours now like I say there's a very good reason for cooking the sausage like this they're going to stay meaty so I'll put it on high for about five hours and then after five hours we've got this fantastic 
casserole dish and what we need to do we need to cut our sausages now the best way to do this is cut these with a pair of scissors and as you can see our sausages are nice and brown from the browning at the start that we did and they're very meaty very meaty they've got that nice solid texture to them now this is why we don't cut them and fry them at the start there is absolutely no need and we get a better result by cooking them like this and as you can see they are quite firm but they are very very juicy in the middle perfect sausages in our sausage casserole so just give that a stir back through fish out the bay leaves we don't want the bay leaves in there get the bay leaves out and then what we need to do just put the lid on and we need to crack on and make some mashed potato now peel your potatoes chop them up and put them in some salted water and bring them to the boil now boil your potatoes until you stick a fork in and they are fork tender and then what we need to do is drain them and then just put it back on the ring and dry them out completely we don't want all that water so just dry them and then all we're going to do is add them to a potato ricer now you can mash it with a potato masher you can mash it any which way you like but I like to mash it with a potato ricer just put your potatoes in and give them a squeeze through so easy and you can keep a little bit of texture in there if you so wish by using a different setting on your potato ricer then what we want to do is add some butter put a couple of little cubes of butter in there a pinch of salt and pepper and I'm using a tablespoon of creme fraiche now you can use milk use cream you can use whatever you like in your mashed potato and just give it a gentle stir through and you have this fantastic creamy mashed potato and then we're ready to serve so a good spoonful of mashed potato on the plate squash it out a little bit and then we can add our sausage and bean casserole so get the sausage and bean casserole on there and that's us ready for a taste test absolutely fantastic just look at that now guys if you like what we're doing don't forget like and subscribe that would be absolutely amazing Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Right guys, by frying the sausages first before putting them in the uh, crock pot, these have got a really nice meaty texture. These are cooked properly. Mm. Guys, if you like what we're doing and you would like to subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. Till next time, keep safe and take care.